All right, welcome back here to the Hill on News Nation. Did you watch the big women's college basketball game last night? In a rematch of last year's national championship game, the University of Iowa defeated LSU to advance to the Final Four. But now the attention has turned to what happened just before the game started. LSU is being criticized for skipping the pregame national anthem. You can see some of the video there. Uh, the Iowa team, they were arm in arm. But when the camera pans over to LSU, nowhere to be seen on the coach, uh, on the court rather. The head coach, Kim Mulkey, claims it was not intentionally done. But in a response, the governor of that state, Jeff Landry, is proposing a new policy that would have, quote, students, student athletes be present for the national anthem or risk their athletic scholarship. He goes on to say, uh, you know, he's a fan of uh, women's basketball, is long tradition in his family, but he says it is a matter of respect. You two are already shaking your yeah, head. Go kick rocks, man. Like, I, this whole idea that the national anthem should even be part of sports is a weird thing. Like, when we look, at other, when we look at other countries and you see them play the national anthem, we're they like, do. oh, look at how jingoistic there is. But, like, what does the national anthem have to do with the LSU basketball game? Like, it's they're actually, country. they haven't been playing. Should it be out of schools out, then? They haven't been coming out to the LSU, or to the national anthem, rather, all season. Like, this is an issue I, because I find it's... that hard to believe. I would love to see that. I don't know the answer to that question, but I would love to see that because it's, I'm surprised nobody has called them out on it earlier because it's disrespectful to our country. Uh, Kim Mulkey is like the every most other country I go to, I, I, I'm sorry, every other country yeah. I go to for a sports game, they play their national anthem. I, I disagree. And? I think the national anthem is fine being played. It's, it's a different situation if you're forcing them to do it, which true patriotism, they should just be showing them in general. But they're at the mercy of their coach. The coach directing them what to do. Yeah. And if she hadn't been in the news recently, think, I don't know that this would have been such a big so story. She, so the, the yes. reporter who covers LSU, right, who knows his team inside and out better than anyone, says uh, LSU uh, is never on the court for the national anthem. Kim Mul Mulkey, the head coach, explained it basically saying, look, at 12 minutes, give or take, when there's 12 minutes left before the game starts, the team goes in, they do their thing in the locker room, and then they come back out, and so they miss the anthem. But I'm surprised to hear you say we shouldn't have it. I don't, I should we have it at sporting events? What, what is I the just, point of it? it? The point is that this is the United States of America, and we already have a, a history of segregation like uh, you know, the governor said. And so this is a time where you come together before a game, before you fight each other to well, show that we, the reason is because it is a game, you are competing against each other, you're fighting each other, and the national anthem okay. shows that we are all in this together. All right, so thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.